There are several misconceptions about the queer community. Yes, you heard us. Queer represents the LGBTQIP2SAA entire acronym. Now these misconceptions come from just the lack of knowledge to plain ignorance. These misconceptions can give way to negative stereotypes, accidentally hurting one's feelings, and the promotion of prejudice. It is important that we give light to the issues surrounding the community. Incorrect but universally accepted stereotypes include that gays are either skinny and sassy or super buff and closeted. Lesbians are butch, unfeminine, and have short hair. Those transgender are men who look like drag queens. Bisexuals sleep around a lot and have polygamous relationships, and that pansexuals are deeply in love with pans. Here's a breakdown of what each gender slash sexuality actually means. We'll start with the ones you probably already know. Gay refers to male individual being sexually active to someone who is also male. Lesbian refers to female individual being sexually attracted to someone who is also female. Bisexual refers to a male or female individual who is sexually attracted to both men and women. Pansexual refers to an individual who is sexually attracted to someone regardless of gender or sexuality. They are mainly attracted to physical as well as personality traits. Asexuality refers to an individual who is not sexually act attracted to anybody. Though few don't find attraction with anyone, most only want a normal romantic relationship just without being sexually active. There are subcategories to asexuality that can go along with the other types of attraction such as gay, lesbian, bi, pan, etc. Questioning when an individual is unsure or ambiguous about which sexuality they identify with. Don't try to pressure them to pick preference name. Cisgendered regards an individual who identifies with the gender they are assigned at birth. For example, if you were born female and you identify as being a female, you are cisgendered. Transgender is a universal term used to represent those who do not identify with the gender they were assigned at birth. Trans man, or FTM, is a person who was born as a female but identifies as a male and may not have altered their body. Trans women, or MTF, is a person who was born as male but identifies as a woman and may not have altered their body. Transsexual man is a person who is born as female and is likely to use surgery or hormones to transition to a male. Transsexual woman is a person who is born male and has likely used surgery or hormones to transition to a woman. Transmasculine refers to a person who identifies more as a man but not completely. Transfeminine refers to a person who identifies more as a woman but not completely. Two-spirited refers to a person who has both equal male and female characteristics that are simultaneously present. Gender fluid refers to a person who can switch between genders. They may identify with a male one day and a female the next, or maybe neither. Gender refers to a person identifying with all genders. Questioning gender means an individual is unsure or ambiguous about their gender. Neither refers to not putting a label on their gender. Intersex refers to an individual whose sexual reproductive systems do not conform to the expected male or female bodies. This is not to be confused with having all of both reproductive systems at once, for it is impossible. Using the correct gender pronouns for someone who is transgender is necessary for being supportive. If you are unsure of which pronouns to use, be sure to ask in a polite way. Though some individuals prefer he, she, his gender neutral pronouns include them, they, their, and z and here. Z replaces she and he and he replaces his, him, hers, and hers, and theirs. For example, Alex ate here food because Z was hungry. Inappropriate behavior. Using the words faggot, dyke, he, she, and it. Outing someone or telling someone about another sexuality without their consent or knowledge. Outwardly asking someone's sexuality or gender, especially if you aren't friends with them, it can make the individual very uncomfortable. Asking who is assigned to each cisgendered role in a relationship, i.e. don't ask two lesbians who's the man and who's the woman, it's rude. Don't ask how long someone has had a specific sexual preference or gender, the question within itself is ignorant. Do not ask if an individual is living the gay lifestyle, once again, very ignorant. Do not consider someone's sexuality slash gender their defining trait or value. Be supportive. If someone comes out to you, it can be worrisome and you don't want to stress them out. 